Thanks for staying with us. Now, if you're just tuning in, we're discussing optimizing productivity working from home. Amuche L. T. Jose is the managing consultant of Elena Frey Limited, uh, a human capital development firm dedicated to offering diverse talent management solutions and services. A lawyer, mediator, and dedicated human resource professional, Amuche is a pragmatic and perspective personality and an ardent believer in the ingenuity of the human person and wants it to uh, what it can create. She is an alumnus of the Lagos Business School, Crownfield University UK, University of California, San Diego, USA, and she belongs to several professional um, and social bodies. Now, remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at Way Show Africa One with the hashtag Ways, or send us an SMS to 081 8038 Thank you, Amuche, for joining us this evening. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> All right. So um, we are, we're, we've been discussing with Bumi, and Bumi has made several salient points about you know, productivity and all of that, that employees should focus, or employers rather, should focus on the employee's productivity in terms of working from home. Because we are trying to see how do we measure you know, that this is an effective um, way if this continues and we would um, have to have more people stay at home and work. In your view, what do you think should be um, um, the outlook for CEOs currently now in terms of work from home, the policies? Um, work from home should be viewed more like, like an empowerment system where you're allowed to work from anywhere that, you know, that gives you the best of time and ability to do your best work. So regardless of the location, if it's an office, if it's in your home, it's anywhere at all. It should be looked as more of an empowerment system that, you know, for you to do your best work. Because I will tell you, uh, personally, I've been more productive working from home, you know, and a lot of people have, you know, kind of asked, like, how's it been before and now? What do you think? Everybody tells you that, you know, right now they have been more productive than normal. Absolutely. So is this productivity linked to the fact that, first of all, because maybe you are a woman, you're a mother, it means it, you have your eyes, you know, settled on, because now I think employers um, should start to look at the emotional part of all of these things. Some of us who are in the office were worried about certain things, but now we're at home so we can oversee what is going on at the same time do our job. So do you think this productivity, you know, that the uh, companies are experiencing like Facebook that Tina Sa had earlier mentioned, you know, do you think it is as a result of that rest that they're experiencing and that, um, that the employees have seen that, okay, yes, I can oversee what is going on in my home at the same time do my job? It's neither here nor there. So... For some people, they view it that, you know, now they have time to look at their family and they're fully rested. They can do work the way they wanted. But I think more, it's more of a, that organizations now are beginning to track what they, they need to track. So because everybody's at home with, you know, the use of technology, you know, every organization now knows that you have to bring in as many tools as possible to track every performance that you think that would go to the bottom line. So I think it's more that organizations are beginning to look at what really matters, what really, you know, speaks to the bottom line. So typically before, you know, activity levels would have been the, the norm, oh, this guy's very busy at work, blah, blah, blah. But I don't think we have that luxury anymore. So organizations are beginning to track the real, the real things. So a lot of organizations have had to review their KPIs, their you know, the dashboards, the performance dashboards and the rest of it. So I think in terms of productivity, why it's been, it's reason is more because you're tracking the real things now. We are engaging more. I can't, you can't tell me, I, for me personally, I've had more engagement with my people than I used to have. So we, you know, we've reinforced our weekly meetings, our focus meetings. There's a lot of review going on. There's a lot of daily engagements. So there's really no room to hide anymore. So I think that is the fact, I think it's one factor that is driving, you know, productivity. And of course, you know, while we are home now, we're working more. That's the truth, because the lines of your personal and your, you know, work life is now blurred. So yeah. 
it's it, so you just get a walk and so because you're at home you're in the comfort of your you know your workspace sometimes you look track you lose track of what the time is and typically you've worked more hours than you would have if you had been in the office so i think it's both ways more time spent tracking what you know we need to track and of course you know people are now more settled i'll tell you when um the the lockdown was eased up and we, our first meeting everybody in my office was looking so fresh you know and i said to myself uh -oh, this was a good a, a good holiday you know and so at that point i think just that being at home i think probably would have helped yeah I'm going to check. Can I, can I just interrupt you there? Right. So what you've just described, it appears and, you know, and is this a reflection of the typical Nigerian employer? So you say you saw your um, colleagues looking fresh and you're like, was it, it was a holiday. And this is the concern for a lot of people. Right. So is work from home a culture that will continue in Nigeria if we if we have this mentality that being at home is a holiday? And is it even best practice to work longer hours because we are presumed to have more time because we're at home? So the thing is this, um, is it something that, that would come to stay? I believe so, because most um, CEOs have tested it. They've seen you know, the angle of cost cutting on the part of the organization. So they've also seen that not much has dropped, at least for those that were working during the lockdown. So they're, they're more motivated and they're more inclined to kind of buy into that work from home, such that if, not, if your productivity didn't drop, you're still rested, I can engage you at the time I need to engage you, of course. Any, any employer or any uh, business owner would want to explore that because everybody has and everybody's looking at the bottom line and the productivity. So if those boxes are ticking, then anything that would drive to that, of course, would work. Now, the challenge in that is that the typical Nigeria, you know, you know, no offense, you know, uh, I, I don't mean any offense, yeah. but I think we need a, a lot of reorientation right. because, you know, I, I recall I saw one cartoon the other day and, you know, it, it says the manager waiting for a report and the employee was sleeping, you know, you know. So the employee, the, the, the manager doesn't have the ability to know what the guy is doing. Some if the guy is sleeping or is out of, you know, the work, so to speak. But at the end of the day, it will, it will depend a lot on our level of discipline and our level of maturity, you know, to be able to, you know, rise up to the occasion, you know, or work from home or work from anywhere. And that, I think that's where the employers uh, work to that, you know, you know, performance monitoring oh, systems will come into play. Absolutely. Such that, you know, you really can't hide from the system. And because if you're beginning to track what you need to track, you're beginning to engage, you're beginning to ask daily, you know, right questions, yeah. Where are we on this? Where are we on this? So even if you want to hide or you want to game the system, the, you know, the, 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 the structures and systems of the organization would really would prevent you from doing that. So I think it's a more a lot of reorientation, you know, true engagement from organizations, the part and you know managers, team leads, just so that we you know rise to it. And you know, like everything about habits, over time we'll get used to it and we'll get probably yes, come and yeah. up. All right, so we have some um, comments and some questions. Rachel says, should there be a different measure? for salaries as regards to work from home. That's from Rachel. Ife is saying, <clears throat> excuse me, I think this can be a plus for employees and employers. We could have hourly pay introduced. So Rachel is saying, ah, you are rolling your eyes, Amuche. <laughs> so, <laughs> Bello is saying, I agree that it is a, is a cultural change that should be um, that we would require. So those are the three comments. Maybe you comment on that, then we'll go for more um, questions. So, um, so we're not, we're not, um, so we're knowledge workers. Most people, okay, let me just, let me take it from the perspective of knowledge workers. So the knowledge worker, you're not like a manual worker, so to speak. So, or a daily paid. So I don't, so if you, if, I don't know, I'm just, I, I'm just not thought about being paid hourly, 
But I would imagine that if you look at it from the output perspective, so if my work requires that I generate, so my my KPI is billable um, hours generated, I think we should, they should look at it from that small, from that perspective in terms of my outcome. So because it's not about the hours you put in, really. It's really not about, it's about what you have been able to produce out of those hours. So before now, people would go in to work eight hours, five days in a week, and produce nothing. But they still, also, but they still they, get paid at the end of the month, Amuche. I'm sorry? I said they still get paid at the end of the month, whether, they, whether they, 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 there's a result or not. Because we are, I, I was telling Bumi something earlier on about, we, we're used to seeing activities like busybodies, you know, all over the place. My boss is saying that I'm working, but I'm not actually doing nothing. You know, I'm maybe on social media, in the office and all of that. So is that not a culture that we have, we have accommodated? That's the beauty of work from home. So we re really need to have a shift from that, that mindset. So it's really not about how busy you are. It's what have you been able to produce, okay. given the time you have. So I, I, it's really, I'm, if I, as an employer, I shouldn't be worried about how long you put in. If at the end of the day, have nothing to show, you have nothing to show for it. So I think it's the shift we're going to have. And any you know, right-thinking person would look away from the hours and look at what have you been, what you have been able to produce given the time that you have. So I, for me, I, I, I'm really not interested in hourly because if you tell me hourly work, it's convenient for you as an employee to just put in just as much. And of course, the employer is looking for the bigger picture. So I, I don't know. It's better <laughs> here not there, but for me, okay, truth, okay, truth, be, told, told, truth so, be told, I'll prefer it. So, you don't blame me. I'm coming from... Yeah, a business... So <laughs> you're, you're thinking from an employ, employer, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. I'm sure and I work, for my, I work for my clients, right? Absolutely. So I would always be... I would always, you know, look for the interest of my clients. Okay. I'm I, say, I, I'm say, I have, I have a question. I, I hear you about yeah. productivity, and I think that we've been talking a lot about productivity, but there's creativity, right? And there are concerns around um, non face-to-face -face interactions impeding product um, creativity. People usually feel like they come up with their best ideas when they're able to interact with their colleagues one-on-one. -on -one. And you know, you, it's just that conversation you're having in the canteen that strikes some great idea that you're able to implement. So with working from home, there are concerns around um, you know, remote working impeding creativity. What are your thoughts? So I think the people that are worst hit are the extroverts who need people to, you know, a lot of energy from people around them to come alive. I know a lot of people who would rather be in one cubicle, think through, do their deep work, you know, get through a whole lot. So for the extrovert who would uh, put, you know, needs a lot of physical interaction, social interaction, those non-informal conversations, oh, my man, you meet your manager, your team leader, and the rest of it. Um, you would have to have a shift, a, a reorientation, knowing that this is what has be, is before us. So it would, it would be that you would have to find how to generate your source of energy. Now, coming from, if I'm a team lead, and I understand that maybe this is my best staff, you know, operates at his optimum or her optimum when she engages with people, I'll have to find creative ways of engaging. So maybe before my meetings, I can try to crack jokes, you're more relaxed, I can engage you outside the formal um, engagement, try to, you know, bounce off ideas just so that I keep you alive and, you know, active, knowing that you need those things to actually, um, you know, help bring out your best work. But for the introverts, boom, on a normal day, they really would rather not have, yeah. they rather not have those interactions. Like I think they can work much perfectly energy. well from home. So okay, so we have some um, yeah. um, comments as well. Someone says organizations will need to have measurable ta um, tasks or targets to be productive online. Then um, another person is saying, this is from Mr. Johnson, he says, people faff even in the office, spending too much time on their phones, chatting, social media, etc., week in, week out, and very little output. So I think from all the conversations from Bumi to what you're saying, we're still focusing on 
let employers begin to focus on the output of the employee and don't don't be carried away whether they're working from home or they're in the fiscal office yeah go ahead nasa go ahead you wanted to say something no, no, question. No, I was just, no, oh okay i thought you had a question to ask <laughs> all right so we have more more um rem i oh okay i think we we so but um um amuche i saw a video you did about um you know creating journals creating um and i thought that video was quite nice it would be nice for you to help employ employees, you know, how to know how to plan around, you know, get optimizing their time working from home just quickly mm -hmm. in like two minutes or one minute. OK, so because we, we don't see each other uh, or one another as often as we used to. So you need a lot of prompters to tell you, OK, this is what needs to be done. This is what needs to be done. So I usually encourage a lot of journaling. So I have my, you know, my meeting planner. Once I have a meeting, I, I you know, journal all the things I need to do, when it, what next, what, need, what, what plans I need to make in the next you know, one week. Like I usually encourage also planning in weeks you know, so that you can put all the things you need to do. Are there resources I need to leverage on you know, while doing you know, task A and task B on task B and the rest of it? So planning in weeks, journaling is very key. So whatever, whatever you know, notepads or journal or your apps or whatever works for you best. But I really like the physical one where I can easily get access to it. I can ask somebody, okay, I can tick off, I can do all that. So I think that was in that understanding that we have those um, journals where we have the weekly planners, my meetings, and of course the practice um, notes for lawyers. So it just gives you a quick snapshot of what you need to do and, you know, what next? And you can plan on paper while, you know, because the tendency of working, the, the, the downside of working from home is that you may lose track of what needs to be done. As against if you were in the office where someone can prompt you and the rest of it. So there's a lot of self-leadership, self, a lot of self-discipline required to work from home. So this time around, you have to be your own champion. You have to be your own um, motivator. You have to be your own cheerleader. You know? So just those things help a lot to, you know, get you on board. That's if you want to get on board. Absolutely. It's still a matter of my choice. Thank you so much, Amuche, for joining us this Thank evening. Thank you. Uh, so, Nasa, Thank quickly. You so, I mean, is it any different from what you already know or is something that you, you think? I mean, so what I take out is there's a lot of work for the person who's working from home. There's a, the onus is on you. So yeah. it's your work ethics, it's your professionalism, it's your discipline. Mm. Nobody, no, no matter how many tools the organization has in place, you have to also be by yourself um, a disciplined person who's ready to Absolutely. just do your best work. And you must build that trust from, uh, from the side of your employer. Integrity. You Absolutely. are the one that, yeah. that the onus is on you. So the employer that's out there working from home. And when they see the outputs, they know that they they know that you are delivering on your you. job. Yes. I think we can wrap it up there. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, so please watch a repeat broadcast of this episode tomorrow at 3 p.m. It's been a very, very great conversation this evening. And keep the conversations going on all our social media platforms at Wait Your Africa One or at Plus TV Africa One as we continue to hear what you are saying. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. Working from home doesn't mean you lose the sense of professionalism. It means you have to create a warm environment to become more productive than ever. And in, as our guest also attested that. So thank you to Bumi and um, Amuche. Amuche. Now see you live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs>